Boom. God, that's hot. Okay. So we're doing a few things. And what we have right now, right here, is a screw. So fun fact, my downstairs neighbor uh, is usually out of town. He's back in town now and he plays his music very loud. And then my neighbor who lives right there is usually in town and usually plays their music very loud. Minolta SRT 101, this is the black model. Kay Hansen just lost, I think that's her third fight in a row. This is just a real, real clean looking camera. I mean, it's very dirty, so I'll need to clean it, but you know, despite that, very nice. It's got the, this is 55-17, good lens. So initially, I repaired this camera, the latching mechanism in there for the mirror was disconnected, so the mirror was just kind of stuck up because there is a mirror up lever there. And then getting that to pop off is not as difficult as you would think. So replace that, or reset that I should say. And now it's doing this fun thing that a lot of SRTs do where there's just a bunch of random shit in the... I just, I don't know what they're doing over there. It's absolute bananas. So, anyway, there's random shit in the viewfinder, so we're just gonna replace that. I'm gonna pretend that I have respectful neighbors. This will also be good because, as I said, there's a lot of gunk in here. So, hopefully, getting some of these pieces off will make it easier to clean. There's a random screw that was like on the bottom of my foot, which is just the most fun. This will also be a good illustration to all of those who are like, what do you mean there's just strings? People don't believe me when I say that the uh, Minolta SRT is kind of reliant on string usage, but I, trust me, it is. Like, <laughs> again, <laughs> there's a lot in this world that I don't know, but when it comes to weird camera repair facts. That is something that I'm quite knowledgeable in. Just like, just literally a few minutes ago. So I was like, yeah, I got this camera and all it needs is more lubrication. Like, I don't think that that's it. I think it's, it's typically this issue. No, it's just lubrication. All right, <laughs> then yeah, I guess just lubricate it. I'm not gonna fight you on this, but uh, I just, I have trepidations to think that you are correct. So, oh, interesting. This is missing that. I'll see if I have a spare one. I think I should. Okay, so got all the pieces off, right? The top should just pop off. Wrong, incorrect. <laughs> this, this is why I hate these cameras, among other reasons. But getting this thing off is just, It is just void of fun. So the trick is, or at least so much as that I've learned, is to turn it ever so slightly to loosen it up. And then it should just twist off. Barring that, you can take off that little, uh, the red indicator. And there's a very small flathead screw underneath, so that's why I brought this out, just in case. But sometimes you just, you only get off with that, so easy peasy. Now the top should lift off as such. Now, a few things. One, there's all the strings. So for anybody who's questioning me, I do know what I'm talking about sometimes. So you can see, as I do this, there's that pulley system right there. Okay, so all that's feeding into the different inputs for the galvanometer, which is then controlled, controls the light metering system. It's a whole thing. And I'm missing another screwdriver, God damn it! Oh, Alexio Linux is fighting. He's fighting Jared Vanderon right now. And 
yeah, that is happening. <laughs> I have no thoughts. Alexia Linick looks like um, either someone's dad or just like one of those guys that's like in the prison movies. And he's just been in there forever, like been in prison forever. Like the, he, that, he just looks like he's either mowing someone's yard or like procuring, procuring stolen goods in prison. But he's got the most submissions in UFC heavyweight history, or tied for second most. That's kind of a feat. Here's the prism here. You'll notice that there are the two photoresistors here. They're attached to the prism as opposed to this portion back here for reasons. I guess it was just easier. I don't know. I'm, I don't work for Minolta, so I don't know what the, the thought process was, was there. I just, I'm very confused. There's just like bumping music all hours of every day so loudly so bizarre so any heat uh, what we're gonna do is free up these wires a little bit interesting well I can undoubtedly say I have no idea uh, where this screw came from. Huh, this is this is a first. <laughs> Usually, there's these like foam pads that'll sit around here, and usually one of those falls off into the camera. But this is just like a straight up screw. Yeah, that is just bizarre. Huh. I'm gonna take a, well, no, I'll just do a little screen grab. I am, I'm, I'm confused by this. I will be completely honest. This is a first for me. The weird thing is, is if you look around here, most of the screws are flatheads. So I'm very curious as to see where this one originated from. Cause it's just kind of, I mean, it's just there. Like, it is just chilling. That is funky. Uh, while we're here, this isn't like a hundred percent method that I recommend, but I just always like to double check that the needle can move freely. Cause as I said, there is this foam padding in here and occasionally stuff can break free. Why is that not focusing on my hand? Occasionally things can break free and fall in there and cause the needle to not move properly. So I want to check that. Also, while we're here, I do want to talk about the timing gear because in most other cameras, I want to say all other cameras, really, the timing mechanism is usually located in the bottom, but here it sits right here. It's this little triangular thing here, which is, it makes sense if you think about it because the starter speed dial is here and so from there, it can just actuate whatever it needs to, as opposed to having something similar to what the K1000 does with the R-word rod that sits down into the camera. And that, that, I mean, that's pretty much it. There's not much else to say. I'm just gonna put this back. This was a weird one, not gonna lie. This was, a, this was a weird one. I don't really have any thoughts or opinions towards it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, while we're here, it looks, looks fairly clean in there. So I'm just gonna put that back on. So anywho, but anywho, I wanna be on record as to say I legitimately do not care when or if John Jones returns because I don't, one, I don't really like him. I don't like his world views, and not the way that like politically he leans or anything like that, but just in the way that he can do no wrong. Everyone else fails him. I just, I don't, I don't like that. Like it's, it's gross to watch. 
And uh, to be honest, his last like few fights have just been bleh. Like the most interesting part was when uh, he was about to lose, <laughs> which I guess is what happens when someone's been so dominant for so long. But still, I just, I don't know. I just don't really care. He's out there like doing God knows what, getting arrested all the time. And he's like, oh, God has a plan for me. It's like, yeah, for sure. But like, I don't know, don't drink and drive so much. Just a thought. I don't know, just wild ideas I'm getting over here, but maybe be a better person. Just a thought. I mean, look at, look at that. Tell me that doesn't look better. It definitely still needs some love. Oh, I'm man enough to admit that, but given another another coating, especially that other one back there. This is not an approved method. This is the I don't have any paintbrushes currently method. <laughs> so do not do this at home or for someone else's camera. I mean, do this for your camera, but uh, yeah. Don't go telling people, oh, I know how to repaint your camera, and then do this shit, because nobody will be happy. I will not be happy if you do this to someone else's camera. They are waffling right now on the broadcast for the fights, and that's typically because someone got a finish, which is the first finish this card, because the first fight was Julio Arce versus some newcomer, Went to a decision, Julie Arce won. I think it was 30-27, and then 29-28. Presumably the other dude got the first round. And then it was Kay Hansen losing to newcomer that I don't remember. And then this fight, which ended in the first round. So really got to make up for that time lost with a bunch of random stats and figures. Yeah, I love this sport. <laughs> Genuinely, I do, though. Um, I don't know. I, mean, I don't think we've talked about my fondness for MMA too much. Perhaps that'll be another another video for another time. But right now, uh, all you need to know is that we are putting it back together. And we're doing that because, for the most part, it's pretty much done. I'm just going to double check that the light meter works which it seemed like it did. There was resistance in the galvan meter, which is a good sign. There is a battery in it. The only issue is, is that the dial currently is set to bulb and 6400. Look at that, gorgeous. Definitely gonna need to clean this off, but the light meter is not working. The battery check works, which means the needle's moving. Potentially, uh, a couple things could have happened. The cells could have gone bad, which is the most likely option, which means I would need a new prism for this, um, which I think I might have one on hand. I'll have to dig through the other SRT that I have, but for now, that's kind of it. This looks like garbage. <laughs> this actually looks like garbage, mostly because I got paint everywhere. Look at that, just a little bit of cleaning, good to, good to go, good to go. No issues, no problems, everything's fine, we're all good, we're chilling, we're having a good time. I'm just gonna have to leave this for the time being, because I got about an hour, and I still have other stuff to do. So, any heat, appreciate you watching. Sorry this wasn't a very conclusive video. Hopefully I'll be able to either find a replacement prism or something else. But for the time being, thank you again for watching. Catch you on the next one.